So it was, it was one shot. What? And this was a rifle, like a 22 rifle. It's, or it's a 22. It's a 22. It's a 22 semi-automatic. Started taunting me. Said, oh, look at you! I, I dare you. Well, I done it. I shot one. So I couldn't believe it after I done it. And Todd, for the second time, Rodney Heemstra is in a courtroom fighting a murder charge. And uh, behind him is his family. Uh, on the other side of the courtroom is the victim's family. And today, the jury hears two sides why Heemstra got and killed Tom Lyon. You're fine by your life. You got plenty. Yeah. You're important. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, more of them. Yeah. But it's better if it's paid for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that plenty would not be. But if your neighbor doesn't know that. <laughs> Uh, land really, in, in, a, in one sense, is a commodity, like corn and soybeans. It gets traded, it gets sold, it gets bought, and people own it or control it. Well, I, I guess land would be a farm. Um, I don't know how you, it'd be, it'd be something that you, as a farmer, that you're going to generate some revenue off of. Um, land also is maybe to me, it might be a retirement asset if I can acquire it. Wide open spaces. I could walk up into the timber and see the birds, and of course you can do that in town too. You can search out things, you know. to a grasshopper I've been out riding with my grandpa or my dad in the, in the tractor and combine and people in the city don't know what land is I mean yeah they do I mean they pave it over and <laughs> you know and, and build buildings on it that you can't see the tops of and and land is is dirt under your fingernails and you know if you're into animals it's the manure on your boots and and it's uh, being out living where there are very few neighbors anymore and yet knowing that there's a connection with the land that very few other people have. Is this the uh, tax credit for Iowa? Is this what's going? Hi Adam. How you doing? Good to see you. I want you to know this film is not costing the state of Iowa a dime. Well, I was going to say, you know, they're watching people like this. <laughs> yeah. Go on in. i got to bring these in the mud. Not, not to the, maybe not locally, not to the degree that uh, the Rodney Heemstra uh, murder trial situation a few years ago, but I would imagine there's at least some hard feelings around. It's, we all live in such a small community that we all know pretty much everybody's business, and um, therefore, Sometimes uh, it might keep you back from acquiring maybe more land or more property because of the connection with the community and the relationship you have with your neighbors. Mm -hmm. So I don't think urban America knows what rural America is really like. And I don't think that gap is ever going to go away because they just don't understand it. It's going to get bigger. Yes. They haven't figured it out either. There is so much change. We are always figuring it out. Don't kid yourself. Yeah, I would. Mm -hmm. Yep. I, you know, it's the, I've always kind of said it's the longest, longest profession. There's been somebody farming since day one because you gotta, gotta eat and 
I think there's something kind of kind of noble in that, I guess, or whatnot. I'd like my kids to be able to do it. Well, Rodney Hanster described that day for the jury as he said there was a lot of tension between him and Tom Lyon over that land deal. Hanster says he tried to avoid Lyon in any type of altercation before it escalated to the point that it did in January of 2003. Farmers are very serious about what they do. This is their way of life, and this is the way they earn a living. Before, land was more than just value. It was an art form. Uh, if you lived on the land, it was a certain art that you practiced. Like they say, doctors practice medicine. Well, farmers practiced farming. And then we lost that and became strictly a business. And you know, we're, we're the poor for it. He was going to make damn sure that I didn't end up with that farm. Rodney Heemster says he believed that by his threats, Tom Lyon intended to harm him in some way to prevent him from buying farmland Lyon was renting at the time. Well, it's, it's pretty personal because uh, there, there's more than a dollar value on, on land. It's, there's a lot of people that have to have it, feel like they have to have it, and uh, there's two guys that feel that a piece of ground is important. If there's hard feelings, and if, if somebody uh, stews about it, it could escalate into a feud. What, whether it's, it's usually not violence, but uh, there, there could be any matter of uh, on a small scale revenge. Just over the land, it's 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 important. We can't farm without it. I told both of them that the farms will always be here, but you find what you want to do first because you can always come back and farm. Farming is something that, if it doesn't, uh, pardon the expression, but if it doesn't ooze from your armpits you shouldn't be in farming. You have to love it, and you have to breathe it, and um, uh, it's, because if you don't, it isn't any fun. And I think maybe that's, you know, even no matter if you never come back to the farm, you'll still have ownership mm -hmm. in that place where you grew up on, or where you, your last part of your growing up was that. You know, you always have that. And and no matter if somebody else is living in the house or not, you'll always have that. And I mean, this sentence. isn't like I want to cry over this. I'm just really stressed out. About this. <laughs> My life. <laughs> Even though it had to happen, we're the poor for it. Um, places disappear all the time, and with places disappearing, that means people disappeared, and so many of our young people, or all of our young people, go to college and don't come home. So, but that's, that's part of rural America. Anybody can you know, drag some, kill them, shoot them between the eyes and drag them down the road, he ought to get the same thing. And he went over there that day, in my opinion, with the intent to intimidate Tom with a gun. And Tom didn't back down. He didn't back down, so he went down. I'd just soon keep it in the family, but uh, if not, I will do something different. I won't have to worry about it. I'll be dead when I'm not farming. Well, then you quit worrying. Oh, yeah. I'll be, when, when I die, I'll quit worrying.